When we put in the work, throw me a long night. Come back where you live, won't take no time. When I'm all in the middle, where you wanna go now? We could bring it up top. Tell me what's on your mind. I'll be knocking down the walls every time you make that call. You'll be changing all your plans. Hi guys, welcome to my channel if you're new and if you aren't new, welcome back. Alright, so I previously mentioned in one of my videos, I believe that my channel is not just going to be vlogs or not just going to be certain things. It's going to be a little bit of everything. So today I'm coming at you with a makeup tutorial. Now disclaimer, I am definitely not a makeup artist. Not by far. I have a professional makeup artist that does my makeup when it's time for me to get my face beat. But on a regular basis, I can get the job done. First thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. So what I like to do first is I take a lip liner pencil and I line my brows. So like where I want my brows to appear, that's where I line. So I'm going to grab the spool and I'm just going to brush it up just to make sure that this is the shape that I want my brows to be. I line darkly on my bottom one, but light on top of my brow, like just so I can see like, okay, this is how I want it to be. But I don't want it to be too harsh when I add the actual product. I make sure that I line lightly at the top of my brow because I like my eyebrows to be even. I know that they say brows are sisters, not twins, understood, and I never get them perfectly even, but I'd rather them be semi-even, so, boom. So now we're done with the lip liner. If you want to know what kind of lip liner I use, it's NK Makeup Auto Lip Liner from the hair store. Alright, so then... What I like to take. I'm about to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and the color chocolate. So I'm gonna take this flat brush. It was a gift, so I'm not sure what brand it is. But I'm gonna take this flat brush and I'm going to fill in my brows where I put those lines at with the lip liner. So we're just, and I extend my tail downward. It's back. Okay, so you see the Anastasia Beverly Hills? It's right. I'm going to take this Envy. I got this from the hair store and I'm going to set my eyebrows with it. So it's like you just pat it in. And I pretty much just do upward strokes towards the outer portion of my brow. So that's how it looks so far. Don't worry. We just we we gonna fix it. I like my eyebrows to be dark. I don't like my eyebrows to look light because if they look light, they're gonna look like ashy. So I take some black eyeshadow from this unknown palette I have and I just, I darken the bottom. Okay, so this is how I look right now. Then, I take my spoolie and I pretty much blend this all together and if you find like right now I see that I want a little bit more black on coming upward on this brow this will be the time to fill it in so now this is the final product just kidding I'm going to take my LA girl pro conceal and the color almond 
So I'm gonna take this concealer and I'm just gonna line under my eyebrow. And I put just a dab in the front. I'm gonna do the same thing I did, thing that I did to the bottom, and I'm just going to line it and just make it look. This is go clean your eyebrows. Okay, so this is what we're working with so far. Oh wow, it is storming outside, y'all. We're just bringing it back. And then we're gonna take our brush that had that concealer on it and you just gonna smooth it out. I started doing my makeup when I was like, my mama didn't allow me to wear makeup, first of all. So let's go ahead and let that be known. My mama was opposed to makeup because she wanted us to have self-confidence. She didn't want us to feel like we needed makeup to make us look good or whatever. So it was a good reason. But I still wanted to wear makeup. So I used to sneak, buy me some makeup, put it in a plastic bag, hide it, and I used to uh, put it on at school. I've learned a lot from a lot of people, watching a lot of YouTubers, and my personal MUA, Kirsty, if you're watching this, you the go. She always makes sure I'm on point every event that I need my makeup professionally done for. And I'm very thankful for that. So, like right now, you can see that this brow is like not as equivalent like to this brow. So that is why I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just going to bring them out. I'm not big on foundation, but but when I do wear foundation, I'd rather it be good quality. For primer purposes, we're going to use the black opal true colors perfecting primer so what I like to do is I have a damp beauty blender I feel like it sucks up all the product so just will apply it to my face so I'm gonna blend all of this in so then I'm going to take my true color black opal pore perfecting liquid foundation sometimes i spray it on my face sometimes i do a couple pumps on my hand so we're just going to place that on the skin this is really one of the best foundations that i've ever used the reason being is because it just it matches my skin and it blends really well like the true colors they mean that so i'm just gonna put a little bit on my nose put a little bit on the sides of my face so then we're just gonna blend now as y'all can see it blended really well i love black opal I'm sorry. So, after, you know, just making sure that she's blended. I'm gonna blend in this concealer. Yeah. So, it doesn't have to be super blended because you're gonna put makeup on it and it needs something to stick to. Then, for highlighting purposes, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick and the LA Pro Conceal. So then I take the same damp beauty blender and I'm just going to blend. So like you can't really tell on camera, but I can tell in my little mirror that I'm looking a little extra light than what I need to be. So I'll take the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick and chest in it, and I'll just go over the places. 
just to kind of set it. So I'm just going to blend it in. So then occasionally I'll contour. So I'm going to take this excess oil of water and I'm going to dampen my brush. Then I'm going to dip into this contour scope and highlight. Alright, so I'm going to take the contour shade in here with my wet brush. I'm going to dig in and I'm going to contour. Then I take that sculpt and I, I kind of put it a little bit above where the contour was pretty much. I'm just blending this no all that contour I had. I'm just blending it. I'm going to take a little bit of my my black opal deluxe finishing powder oil control formula in the color medium i'm going to bake a tad i don't bake for a long time because i don't feel like it's extremely necessary so i'll take my pink beauty blender and i just place it on my cheeks because i have oily skin so wherever i get oily i just place it there same on this side and then I just and the, the shade of this gives it a bit of a highlight so I'll be right back after I get finished baking all right so it's been about five minutes for y'all it's been about two seconds but you know so I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just literally dusting it all off so First, I'm gonna take the bottom and I'm gonna pat it in the skin. Like, blending is imperative to makeup. I feel as if that is the number one thing because if you do not blend properly, nothing is gonna to flow together. All right, so now let's go on this eye look. I'm a gold-based girl, I love gold. So I'm going to take my ColourPop Lightning Bug super shock shadow and this is going to be my eye color for today so i'm just going to take a couple swipes dip up in there and coat the eyelid with this color so we just Putting it all over the eyelid. So y'all see I'm sparkling. So then I'm going to dip into this black. And I'm just going to kind of clean it up. We're using the black as like a, it's like the transition shade. Okay. So then after that, I take my beauty blender again. The one that I use. For all the for most of the blending, I take it and I clean up all that was messed up in the process. All right, so then I'm going to spray my face with some setting spray. Y'all watch this. Just watch. So I'm going to take my elf eyeliner so i'm gonna leave that one like that and we're gonna do the same to the other eye and elf this elf uh i got this from walmart it has a really bad this is a really great eyeliner and it lasts a long time so we're gonna do the same thing that we just did in that eye on this eye The strip last adhesive with aloe. So what I like to do is I'm going to take 
this glue and I'm going to put it on top of the band. So while that one is drying, I'm going to I'm going to take this one off and use the glue. Okay, so then I'm going to take the lash that I first had and I'm going to apply it. And I love long lashes. I love, love, love long lashes. So then, apply this last lash. All right, this is the finished product, y'all. Like, as I stated before, I am not a MUA or anything like that. I'm just a girl who loves makeup.